Turn up to this one. This old system's being ripped out and converted to a combi. I do a lot of videos identifying systems through like wiring, but now we're gonna identify this system through pipe work. It's important to be able to identify the pipes when we come to convert the system, because we're not gonna need all the pipes, but there's a couple that obviously we will need and to be able to get this to circulate properly. So off the top of the boiler, we've got our flow and return. If we do the flow first, we'll find the pump. It's got an arrow on it. That shows us the direction, which means it's the flow because it's coming away from the boiler. And then we get to our three port valve. So it goes up into the three port valve. As I said before, this one's the boiler flow. Then it'll go through your three port valve and it goes into the cylinder. So that becomes your hot water flow. That means the other side of the three port valve is going to be your heating flow. You can see it just disappears under the floor. So that's going to go and feed all your radiators. So then once we've labeled that, we've got another pipe coming out the floor. So that's going to be our heating return. So we know we need a heating flow and a heating return to the radiators. So this coming out the cylinder is your hot water return. So now I'll draw a little arrow so you can see which direction it's coming from. So it's coming back from the radiators, back from the cylinder, and that's heading back to the boiler. So we're going to call that boiler return. And then as you can see, that goes all the way back, up and over, back to the boiler. So that completes the circuit. So because this one's got a three port valve, that makes this a Y plan system. If it was an S plan system, it would have two two port valves. So now we're going to mark up our domestic side. So coming off the top of the cylinder, that's going to be our hot. Where it goes up and over will be the vent. And the one next to it is going to be the cold main, 15 mil. That's what goes up and feeds the header tanks. And then that 22 mil with a gate valve on, that goes down to feed the bottom of the cylinder. So that's our cylinder cold feed. And then the only pipe left to do, is gonna be the gas. Hope this was helpful. Happy days.